to solve the numerical based on scrambling. We are already know that uh, zero crossing detector based bit synchronization suffers from the lack of synchronization due to the continuous occurrences of zeros and ones. The scrambling technique is introduced to solve this problem. This process of scrambling uh, will generate randomize the bit on eliminating the continuous occurrences of zeros and ones. Scrambling will also eliminate the most periodic bit pattern available in the incoming message signal and scramble sequence is generated at the transmitter end and at the receiver end, the generated scrambled bits are uh, descrambled to get back the original bit sequence. So to understand how the scrambler has, has to be designed, so we people are going for tapped shift register concept wherein a flip flops are arranged uh, in order to make it as a uh, tapped shift register. So you can observe here. So I'll be going with uh, pointer. OK, you can observe here the bit BK is my bit sequence, so it will be supplied to be uh, different shift registers. OK, all these shift registers are working with, based on the uh, applied clock input. OK, here there are a tapped gains are there so like A1, A2 up to AN and all these things are uh, given to the modulo 2 adder. Actually, modulo 2 adder means it's an XOR gate. So all the modulo 2 adder uh, addition will be taken it as a BK of dash. OK, the function BK of dash BK dash is equal to alpha 1 BK minus 1 alpha XOR with alpha 2 BK minus 2 like that up to alpha N BK minus N. OK, so this is a generalized tap shift register, but we would like to go for a particular shift register, so a particular scrambler design based on the tap shift register so we can observe this. So this is one of the uh, example of scrambler wherein uh, you can observe a1, a alpha 1, alpha 2 are 0. So I, I go back to the tap shift register concept. You can observe here uh, this alpha 1 and alpha 2 these two values are taken as zero and uh, cap number of shift registers will be considered as four for this particular scrambler diagram you see there are four shift register okay and a alpha one alpha two are zero so that's what that connection is not there alpha three is one so that this connection is there OK, you can observe and alpha 4 is also 1 so that this connection is there. So 1 multiplied by this term is that term only. No issue with that. OK, so uh, you may ask one simple question like uh, which which tap gain we supposed to consider. So that is a designer aspect. Designer may use three tap gains. Designer may, may use four tap gains. Designer may use only two tap gains. OK, so that is a designer aspect. Uh, if if exam point of view, if we would like to see, so this diagram will be given to you. And also uh, sometimes they will give you this function. So this function tells us what will be the combination for MK double dash to get what will be the output mk double dash you supposed to get so that depends on mk minus 3 dash xor with mk minus 4 dash okay so this definition they will give you accordingly this diagram will come out okay what does this de definition is telling me this definition is telling me that mk double dash you will be getting on xoring between mk minus 3 and mk minus 4 so in in the even for uh, numerical purposes or for the design purposes, they may give you this equation or they will give you this diagram. OK, so after that, uh, what will be my final output? You see scrambled output is MK dash so that MK dash is equal to M say XOR with MK double dash. So OK, let us consider. This is a scrambler numerical. So what what they will give? They will give this diagram or this equation. OK. Accordingly, they will even give you this set of bits. OK, for this input bit, what will be the output sequence? OK, this output sequence is this one. OK, so simple thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven inputs are there, which implies you supposed to get a scrambled seven bits. OK, so we will try to get the scrambled uh, seven bits for the given input sequence. OK, so. 
you will be given the diagram this diagram or these equations this diagram or these equations and this set of uh, message bits this set of message bits will be given to you okay so now what we supposed to do what is our next task our next task is to proceed with the uh, solution see how do we solve it so for your reference i have given this diagram once again so you can observe here all the shift register values initially are zero if i apply the first clock what is happening here all the shift register values currently it is zero and for the first clock what happens i suppose to perform certain operation here you can observe here the operation between mk minus 3 and mk minus 4 has to be XOR, right? So as of which you can observe here, MK minus three is zero, MK minus four is zero. So these two XOR operation will lead to zero. Zero XOR with zero is zero. And after that, what is my operation? My operation is MK double dash should be XOR with MK. So it will give you MK dash. Okay. So that is my scrambled signal. So what I supposed to get do here? MK double dash should be XOR with my m of k so it will give you what it will give me one zero xor with one is one so after performing uh, this set of uh, xor operations so i'll be getting a first bit first scrambled bit for the first input bit so what what exactly happens in the next step in the next step you can observe this bit will come to this position okay and then shifting of the register happens like mk minus 1 bit is coming to mk minus 2 mk2 is coming to mk1 and m sorry mk3 and mk3 is coming to mk minus 3 you see here so this bit is coming to here this bit is coming to here this bit is coming to here so that's what after applying one clock all the shift register contents are shifting by one okay now what happens to the output when the second clock comes, let us observe. So for the second clock, what is my input? Yes, for the second clock, what is my input? So these are all my inputs. Okay. Once again, I have to perform the XOR operation between X of uh, M of K minus 3 and M of K minus 4. So if I do the XOR between these two, it will be 0 XOR with 0 is equal to 0. Okay. This X should be XOR with what? This message. Okay. Message is, should be XOR with MK double dash. So zero XOR with zero goes to zero. Okay. What will be the next thing for the next clock? If I am applying, then this zero will come to the MK minus one position and all other three bits will shift to next bits, right? Okay. So if I apply the third clock, what happens? If I apply the third clock, you can observe. So this will be by acting like a message bits. Okay. So XOR between these two will result it into zero. Okay. The zero XOR with one will result it into one. And next, what happens? This one will come to first position. And all these three will shift to next positions like this. Okay. After this, what is my next task? I have to perform these two XOR operations, right? So that will be here in the uh, fourth clock. These two bit registers will be XOR. So you can observe here one XOR with zero is one. Okay. Now this is to be XOR with this incoming bit one. So one XOR with one will result into zero. Okay. In the next step, what happens? This zero will be shifted to first position. You can observe here it is shifting to first position that is MK minus one dash. Okay. So then these three bits are shifting to next shift registers. So you can observe here. Okay, they are shifting here. Now, what is my next task? My next task is to get XOR between these two. Why? Because these two are getting XOR. So you can observe these two bits are getting XOR and zero XOR with one will lead to one. Okay, then one XOR with G zero incoming message signal should be XOR with one leads to one. So that is what your uh, output mk dash okay what will be the next step no doubt once again i'll be taking this mk dash to first position so that's what happening and then all these three shift registers content will move to next step so like this this is coming here this is coming here this is coming here after that what is my next task the next task is to do 
XOR operation between these two, one XOR with zero will lead to one. Okay, and then this one XOR with zero will lead to once again one. So this one will be coming to this position. And after that, what is my next task? I have to get all these three shift registers are shifting to their values to next next shift register, right? So this is what happening, and this is the last bit. Zero is the last bit. So for that, I have to perform the operation that is XOR operation. Zero XOR with one will lead to one, and this one is XOR with zero will lead to one. So this is this one zero one zero one 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 is my scrambled output for this one zero one one zero 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 so this is my input for this message input this is a scrambled output fine mk dash is my scrambled output so this is what how do we suppose to solve the scrambling numerical okay it's very simple so anyhow if there are seven number of input bits are there no doubt your output should also be seven number of output bit that is mk dash now the question arises how can we proceed to descramble it okay so we will do one small exercise here to understand how descrambling can be uh, descrambling diagram can be done okay you can observe here so this is a descrambler okay fine so you, you may observe one uh, equation here actually descrambler should give you what it should give me original bit sequence, right? So this scrambler should give me original bit sequence. So we are assuming something like output sequence is equal to MK dash XOR with MK double dash. If I do this, let us see what happens. What exactly happened? Did anyone remember like what MK dash means what? No doubt you can observe here. MK dash, this is my MK dash, right? It is an XOR between MK and MK double dash, correct? mk dash is an xor between mk and mk double dash so as of which i am applying mk dash is equal to mk xor with mk double dash okay after that there will be xor get mk double dash fine this as it is i am taking this these two term these two uh, points i am taking as it is only i am putting the value of mk dash so that is mk xor with mk double dash okay as per association associative rule so these two if i take in combination so same bit if i do perform xor operation between the same uh, boolean value xor operation between same boolean value will result it into zero so, okay so then mk xor with zero so this these two are the same like like logics either zero xor with zero or one xor with one it will lead to zero okay next mk xor with zero will lead to mk so this is how we can design this scrambler. It's very simple. So this is my scrambled sequence XOR with MK double dash and MK double dash. We know that we are getting it from here. Right? So that's what if if we solve this uh, uh, Boolean algebraic uh, Boolean algebraic equation, so we come across MK. Okay, now you see how can it how can we design this? It's very simple. So I am having MK dash that has to be XOR with MK double dash will give me MK fine. So this is what happening now. See, this is a scrambler diagram wherein MK is XOR with MK double dash to give you MK dash, which is a scramble sequence on having this Boolean algebraic equation solution. So we are we are getting like MK dash should be XOR. This MK dash is no doubt what exactly it is. It will be the scramble sequence. This scramble sequence I am exploring with this MK double dash to come up with the transmitted MK transmitted message or a original data, right? Transmitted original data. This is how we can uh, design a scrambler by using tapped shift register. Okay, and also how can we uh, design the de scrambling by using Boolean algebraic equation? and how to solve the uh, scrambler numerical uh, for a given sequence. So this is what the complete uh, overview for how to design scrambler, how to solve the numerical on scrambler and how to design descrambler for a particular 
scrambled equation or a scrambled diagram. So thank you for your uh, valuable uh, time. Uh, if you feel like the scrambler uh, numerical has to be discussed, please let me know. Thank you for your patient listening. So we will see you in the next video. Thank you.